Okay, okay, okay. Let me run back to my seat. Oh, 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 shit. Shit. Let's take a seat. Okay. So, I remember a video I did about window lighting back when I was on campus. Like, it brought me so much memories trying to remember how easy photography was. I remember photographing being very easy. Like, you pick up a camera, hope it rains so that you get some overcast lighting. You go outside, you call a model without makeup, beautiful face. Whatever her face is, just let her come with it. Take pictures, edit, post, and you're good. So, like, roughly, usually, it used to take me, like, two days to quickly finish and edit, blah, 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 and just post it and get the engagement I wanted. That's how simple it was back then. In today's video, we'll be looking at creating window lighting here in the studio using artificial light. Window lighting is directional. Window lighting has just one light passing through it, and that's why I want to use one light today. It's fact also that whatever time of the day, 12, 1 in the morning, except in the evenings, you would get light coming in from your window. The intensity is dependent on the time of the day. If it's at 12 o'clock, of course, you're going to get more light entering through the window. If the sun rises through your window, you're going to get a hard light source and you're going to get shadows created if you have burglar proofs in front of your window or in your window or on your window, however you want to put it, All right? I did, I did wake up this morning and I saw light passing through my window. I enjoyed whatever it is that I saw. It was, it was fun. It was really fun. I took some pictures. I'm going to put it up. You, you'll see it. The shadows coming in through the window created some nice textures on my index and also on the floor. And I like the fact that I was able to use some aesthetics to create some cool images. So that idea, if I'm supposed to recreate that in the studio, all I'll have to do is just make sure I strip my light or I um, focus my light at one point. But that's not what I want to do today. I want to create a simple, evenly lit, soft looking image or portrait, if you should put it. I'm going to use the DP600, the Godox DP600 Mark III, together with the rectangular extra large Lux Banks 54. I think it's yeah 54 by 72 inch lax banks i'm not sure of the size i'll make sure to correct it and put it here i'll link that in the description box below if you're coming from my previous episode of lights and color in two we spoke about how you can spread your lights from a small soft box we use the diffuser that's the same ideology we're using here but this time around since it's a modifier we have that big modifier is the biggest modifier I have in a studio. So I'm just going to stick with that. As you can see, the DIY gobo over here is going to help reduce the intensity of light hitting the floor of my setup. Let's enjoy today's shoot. It's all about one light. If you haven't watched the previous video, make sure you watch that previous video. You're going to enjoy so much. You're going to learn so much from it. The last time I didn't finish my statement, Whenever I bring Nigerian girls onto my set, you know Nigerian girls are beautiful. So this is the beautiful Belinda. Okay. Okay. All right. You can find Belinda's handle down in the description box below. You can find the makeup artists down in the description box below. She has a YouTube. She says she started a YouTube. So I'm going to link that also down there. Check out my digital store as usual. You guys, same gear from the last time. All right. I had I had one comment from my previous video where one someone was saying the fractions I was saying they didn't matter. Well, the fractions are the power, which is the intensity of the light. If you're talking about it's not matching, then we're looking at let me take a test. We are looking at the fact that oh I like this. We are looking at the fact that you would have to compare it to two factors in mind: the distance and the spread. Because when it comes to the distance and I increase the intensity, the intensity needs to spread the light just so that my subjects will get it. So if I increase the distance, then the fractions matter. If I decrease the distance and it's closer to my subject, then the fractions don't matter. The fraction will only matter if I want to see how bright or how dark my subject is. Okay, taking a test shot. I have my ISO at 100 f2.8. 
light power, one over 16 plus 0 0.3. I guess you closed your eyes, so let's not close our eyes for that. And this is how simple and clean my window lights will be. So let me remove this. So if you compare the two, what the Gobo was doing was reducing the light intensity, hitting the leg. So I was getting a smooth and easy fall off of light on the leg, not to get too much light on my subject. On my subject's leg, let me correct that statement. You can also see how the light was hitting this draping material. So usually when you're shooting one light in the studio and you have your key light on your subject and you shoot maybe a full body portrait you see the light spread on the ground being too much as compared to the light on the face and that is what i'm trying to avoid you can you can see that when you shoot on a white backdrop on any backdrop you see you lose color down here so using this will limit the spread of light i'll still have light hitting here all right but I'll get the color I'm looking out for. So, so let me take from the top. Let me get closer. Put the, no, the scarf on the hair. Well, it's not on the hair. But this is nice though. Simple, classy. Oh. You guys should give it up for the, the Nigerian babe. Yeah. I'm always recording. So, this shoot was quick. Very quick. Because I had already done all the explanation. I just needed to show you what it was all about. I quickly want to mention this. Not forgetting the fact that we had this DIY gobo in here, right? I removed it. You guys saw the difference. I brought it back and you saw what it did. So I have learned something new today. I learned it online. I'm now practicing it and I'm glad I shared it with you guys. So you can tap all your lights using this kind of setup or you can just shoot your one light creating the window lighting with this. All right. So I enjoy shooting all the time. And I'm starting to like shooting this lady sitting behind me. So maybe in the next video, I'll probably see it. In the next video, I'll probably just go back to one of the questions that were asked and we'll see what 
we can do about that. Peace.